Well, hello everyone. Today in our AutoCAD 2008 tutorial series, we're going to be talking about viewing our drawing, and um, we're going to go over a lot of those view commands. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm in the AutoCAD Classic mode once again. Get there. Go to your Tools pull-down menu. Go to Workspaces. Click on AutoCAD Classic. It's going to get you a real basic AutoCAD window. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my grid on. We talked about that in the last tutorial. So I'm going to click on grid. My grid's going to come on. And um, what I want to do is remember my grid zoom, my, excuse me, my grid fills the extents of my limits, which we talked about in uh, tutorial number nine, setting our drawing limits. Well, our grid extends to our drawing limits, and my grid is showing up. You might not be able to see it, but my grid is showing up right down here in the bottom left-hand corner of my screen, which is telling me that's what my drawing limits are set to, somewhere over here. Um, the first command, zoom command that we're going to go over, and there's a lot of different zoom commands, and we're just going to go over the important ones. But the first one we're going to go over is zoom all. Uh, what that's going to do is that's going to zoom our window or our workspace to the extents of our limits. Okay, now that I know I've got my grid on, I know my limits are down here, I'm going to zoom on, zoom to the extents of my limits. So, how do we access our zoom commands? Well, in the standard toolbar up here at the top, you'll see four buttons. Uh, these are some basic zoom commands. There's the pan command, the zoom real time, um, there's a, a, this is actually a fly out toolbar where if I click and hold down my index finger mouse button, I get a lot of different zoom commands. Um, and then to the right of that is the zoom previous, which you'll use a lot as well. So this is where most of your zoom commands are. Now there's other ways to access them. You can go to your view pull down, go down to zoom, and you can access the same zoom commands here. You can also bring up the zoom toolbar. Remember how to do that? Put your cursor on any button, hit your middle finger mouse button, slide all the way down. Mine's down here off the screen. Slide all the way down and you'll see one that's called Zoom. If you click on that, that's going to bring up your Zoom toolbar. Okay? I'm going to leave this off. I'm going to take this off. And I'm just going to use this little fly out here to access my Zoom command. So, let's go ahead and Zoom all. I'm going to go to my little fly out. I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to go all the way down to the one that says Zoom all. It's the second one from the bottom. I wait for the tool tip there to pop up. I'm going to let go, or I'm going to click on that, and it's going to zoom my workspace to the extents of my drawing limits. And I left my grid on so that you could see that, and hopefully you can see that in this, in this video tutorial here. But my grid is gone to the extents of my drawing limits, and so has my zoom window, or my window uh, that I just zoomed. Now that's zoom all. Now I'm going to draw a few objects here. I'm going to draw a quick rectangle. I'll draw a circle. Stick it over here inside my box. Let's go over a couple of more. Um, another one that you're going to use quite a bit. If you go to your zoom fly out there, uh, the very top one is zoom window. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click zoom window. It's asking me to specify my first corner. Remember when we talked about drawing rectangles in tutorial number seven? Well, pretend like you're drawing a rectangle, and the rectangle that you draw is going to be your new display window. So, let's say I wanted to zoom in just around this circle. Okay, well I've started my zoom window, right? It's asking me to specify my first corner, so I'm going to draw this imaginary rectangle. I'm going to start up here to the top left of my circle. Click my mouse button. Now, I'm not holding down my mouse button. I'm just picking a point. Remember in AutoCAD when you pick points, you just click your index finger. So I've clicked my index finger. Now I'm just using my mouse to pull my window down to the right. And once I'm around the circle, I'm going to pick my index finger mouse button again. And it's going to zoom my workspace to that area. Okay? And it's going to zoom in on everything that I've surrounded uh, with that zoom window. If I want to zoom back out to where I was, the quickest way, the easiest way to do that is to use this Zoom Previous button right here. Click on Zoom Previous, and that's going to zoom to the previous view. Not going to zoom to Zoom All or Zoom Extents or anything like that. 
it's going to zoom to wherever you were before. An example of that would be this. Let's say I click on zoom window. I'm going to zoom in on my circle again. Okay. Now let's say I want to scoot over here and I want to see the left side of this rectangle. Well, I have this pan command. This is called pan real time. This is kind of like, imagine you've got your piece of paper on your desktop and you wanted to slide it over so that you could see another, the other side of the paper if it's a large drawing or something. You just want to slide it across your desktop. Well, the, the uh, pan command works very similar to that. I'm going to start my pan command and you'll see a little hand pop up. Well, it's kind of like putting your finger on a piece of paper on your desk, pushing your finger down, and sliding the piece of paper across your desk. Well, to you've got your hand here. Well, to push your finger down onto the piece of paper, click, and this is one of the few times that you actually hold down your mouse button. Click and hold down your index finger mouse button. Hold it down this time, and pull, wherever you want, pull this piece of paper, or pull your workspace to the right or to the left or to the upper, to, you know, up or down. Once you've got it where you want it, let go, and then you're done. You've, you've zoomed it, or excuse me, you've panned it around. Now, you can just keep clicking and pulling, and you can pull it around. Now, to get out of it, you can just hit your middle finger mouse button, which is enter, or you can hit enter on your keyboard, uh, or you can hit your escape button either way, okay? And that's going to get you out of it. Now, one thing I want to mention there, uh, a little window popped up. You may have noticed that. Um, once I've panned, I hit my middle finger mouse button, and a little dialog box pops up. Um, this is a dialog box that you can, you'll can you get and you can turn this on or off. And this is just some, a quick access to some of these other zoom commands. Now if I want to exit that command, I'm actually going to have to click on exit. Sorry about that. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm one of those that I'm used to hitting the escape key. It's just from being an AutoCAD user since, you know, the Stone Age. Um, I hit my escape key quite a bit. So I'm panning around, I'm going to hit my escape key and that's going to get me out of the command, okay? And what do we do when we hit our escape key? Make sure you hit it a couple of times, remember? Alright, so that's pan. Now if I wanted to zoom previous, that's going to zoom me to the last spot. Notice it just moved a little bit. If I hit previous again, it's going to move me a little bit. Those are the little pans that I was doing when I was explaining that. And I can keep zooming previous until I get all the way back out to where I was. That's zoom window, that's pan, that's zoom previous. Um, the other one is zoom extents. Zoom window, remember, zooms to the extents of the drawing limits. Zoom extents zooms to the extents of the objects that are drawn, okay? My grid, you'll notice here my grid, remember, is my drawing limits. That's representative of my drawing limits. So when I zoom all, it's going to zoom to the extents of my grid with my drawing limits. If I do zoom extent down at the very bottom, watch what happens. It ignores my limits and it zooms to the extent of the items that I've drawn. Let me do a zoom previous. Let's say I draw another circle out here. This time I'm going to do a zoom extents again and it's going to zoom to the extents of my limit, or the extents of my drawing. Okay? Uh, so that's zoom extents. Now you have zoom real time. If you click on that, Again, this is one where you're going to hold down your mouse button, and you can move your mouse up and down as you hold down your mouse button, and that's going to zoom in and out. Okay, so that's a real-time uh, zooming in and out. A lot of people like to use this. They'll zoom in, they'll hit their end or their middle finger mouse button, slide over here, click on switch to pan, pan around, and they're never out of the zoom command. Switch over here, click on zoom, zoom out. Switch over here, hit my middle mouse finger again, click on Zoom Extents, um, and then hit Escape or Enter or whatever to get out of it. Um, let's see here. The rest of these, um, Zoom Dynamic, if you're doing a lot of maps, working with a lot of maps, maybe some civil drawings, I, I know a lot of people that use it when they're doing that, Zoom Dynamic. I'd read up on that. Um, it's not really worth it. You don't use it that much for us to get into 2D. Uh, zoom scale, same thing, zoom center. Zoom object is a nice feature. Click on zoom object, select the object that you want to zoom to, hit enter. It's going to zoom around that object. And that's about it. i got to end this tutorial real quick. Uh, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.